Marty. Dude, you can't get excited about this. He might be dead. There might be something wrong with you. A redfish with a mouth like that. Got it. Nice seeing you again. Welcome to Venice, Louisiana. <laughs> I'm Ray Van Horn, and this is the captain's journey. Jump in the boat. Let's see what kind of fun we can have. Let's go fishing. Come on and take a ride with me. I get on board with Ray Van Horn. It's the captain's journey. Let's go fishing. Come on and take a ride with me. I get on board with Ray Van Horn. It's the captain's journey. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is presented by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. On this week's journey, we're launching out of Cypress Cove Marina in Venice, Louisiana. And I'll tell you what, when my buddy Jason Catchings calls, you get here. It's a 14 hour ride for me and I don't mind driving 14 hours in a day to get here because I know when he calls, it's gonna be epic. And I said, dude, what are conditions gonna be like? You think I ought to bring the, the long rod, the fly rod? He says, absolutely, man. Oh, welcome to South Louisiana, the marsh. Brother Jason, we are in Venice, Louisiana. It's kind of a rite of passage that I come out here every year and spend some time with this guy. And the last time we were fishing, we, we, we were at my house. That's right. Eating home cooking, for me. And, uh, and you put it on me? No, the fish put it on you. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I think we talked about that. But anyway, you'll come back and get even with them. The, uh, we're not probably gonna see any snook today. No. But what we are gonna see is a lot of pumpkins. Big, big pumpkins. Big ones. And uh, I don't know, we'll do some conventional, we'll do some fly. Whatever mother nature gives us. Exactly, and that's the great thing about you is that you never fight it, you go with the flow. And uh, I don't want to jinx us, but it's looking pretty good. It is. I'll tell you what, y'all stay tuned because this is gonna be an epic smackdown. So once again, I'm in the 2360 Bay it's Ranger. so different than a Verado. Like the 350? It is a Verado. Well, I know, but it just, the look of it's different. Yeah. The so fit. you're going to be uh, old school? You're going to go with the 350 till you can't stand up anymore? Or? Yeah, and then I'm going to go 400. Yeah. I'm going to go 400. Does the 400 the look like this? No. Or? It looks, it looks like, like the 350, doesn't it? It looks like the 350. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know me. And I'll tell you what, Boats Nimble has a ton of storage. All the Ranger Bay Rangers all have the same console, which has a ton of storage. And then you've got two gigantic rod boxes. I mean, it's just a, a pleasure to fish out of. And we didn't run down the main river very far. We got off into some of these side bayous, and it wasn't very long, and we were, we were at the mouth of the bayou, man. And it, I mean, birds, bait, you don't have to tell me much more than that. It yeah. was on, it was on. Just it's all visual at that point. It is. Now, all the keys are there, it's all visual. It was going off, there were fish boiling all around the boat. We had just popped out of the bayou. There were slicks, there were pogies, it was oh. calm. The birds were working. The Outgoing tide. The tide is ripping out because of the moon phase we're in. <laughs> Turn it. <laughs> You're a mess, dude. You missed it. Again? You got it that time, dude. <laughs> hey, oh, he's off. Oh, that's ten bucks. That's ten bucks right there. Any <laughs> day now, Ray. There's Dude. pogies everywhere. There's birds diving everywhere. Fish on. Smoker? That's a good one. It's a good one. They're all good. I guess. We'll see. Here, let me get you a net, cuz. Cuz, you just get rigged up. 
told you, dude, I come prepared today. This ain't no snook fishing where Jason gets beat on. <laughs> You're still mad about that snook beat down, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I've right, held it in since February. Right. Now, just so, just so all the people at home remember this, remember we pulled into the creek, we were shoulder to shoulder, and I had the trolling motor controls. Uh -huh. And I said, I'm gonna run this, because we had a lot of current. That's right. And I said, you go ahead and throw it. He said, no, 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 and you said so nicely. He said, no, you need to fish too. I said, no, you don't want me to do that, because we're only gonna get a few bites. It's not like here in Louisiana where it's gonna be 100 fish a day. Yep, he come off. Oh, that's, that's another one, that's 20 bucks right there. Oh, there he is. There's a good one, Bubba. <laughs> what happened? I got beat <laughs> up. <laughs> I got beat to death. You couldn't draw better conditions. I mean, it is just, it is just nice. <sighs> good night. You think you could catch one on the fly right now? I think we ought to get it rigged up, don't you? Yeah, I'm waiting on you. I got I got the heebie-jeebies in the back of my neck. I couldn't get that fly rod out fast enough. <sighs> there he is. I got a fish on. Break him off. <laughs> you want to net him? Or you want to just, you want me to do everything today? Well, if I'm ever going to get in the game, I got to get a fly rod rigged up. OK, well, come on. Here, I'll net that one for you. You know, we pull out of the cut. <laughs> and my man Jason over here is all rigged up because that's how he lives. I drive 14 hours, haven't had a chance to rig up yet. Welcome to the Jason Catching Show with Net Man Ray. Over here, cuz. I am. There you go. That's a 25 pounder. It's a male, you can hear him yep. grunting. Making all of his noises. Welcome to Louisiana. Jason Kitchen, Bayham. Just waiting on you to join the party, Ray. We're waiting. No, I'm, I'm taking my time. I don't want to peak too early. Nice seeing you again. Welcome to Venice, Louisiana. <laughs> now, now, this is real time. We came flying out of this cut, and there's bait everywhere and birds everywhere. Jason, I think we'll just sit down right here. And I don't know, that wasn't your first cast, because the first two got off. The first two got off, this is number three. Yeah. Don't worry, Jason, I'll get in the game here in a minute. I'm gonna get a fly rod rigged up, because that's, that's how I want to do it. I think that'd be a smart idea. Turn that one loose, cuz. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. It was going off, there were fish boiling all around the boat. It just popped out of the bayou. There were slicks, there were pogies, it was oh. calm. The birds were working. The outgoing tide. The tide is ripping out because of the moon phase we're in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just too much. <laughs> and you didn't bring your fly rod for what reason? This is about you, Ray. No, it's not. It's all about you today. It is not. I'm just trying to be a great host for you. You always are, but you know, I told you, bring that long rod. It's all right, buddy. So everything's set up perfect for us to be able to maneuver around and fish with a fly rod. Bring them over here to Captain Scoop. It's easier said than done, brother man. You'd have bugged them over to the show had been over already. What do you think? <laughs> five casts, five fish. Well, 
Where do you get that tool at, uh, Jason? This is made by Rapla, but and the great thing about this tool is it's long, so it keeps your hands away. Yeah. Or if you need to get inside, you can get in there and keep yourself safe, but you can keep the fish safe. That might be the best D hook I've ever seen. Yeah, they're unbelievable because mm -hmm. it's like a screwdriver. It is going off. I mean, I I was in that rod locker getting that fly rod out in a nanosecond. Let me just tease them up for you. I don't think uh, you need to do anything. All right, let's get out of your way. And there you go. Got it lined up. You hand me the big double barrel popper. We tie that on. And I don't know if it was my first cast, but I guarantee you it wasn't more than my second cast. And it was game on. I had a, just a giant come up and suck that bug down. There he is. Come on, eat it. Come on. Got him. Yeah, baby! <laughs> First one back, out of the box. Back, back left foot was, was on the line. Sorry I took that so long. I know, I'm sorry you did too, buddy. Dude, you can't get excited about this. You might be dead. There might be something wrong with you. Well, there we go. You want me to pick that trolling motor up for you? No, nah, we're okay. Oh, maybe. Good job, buddy. Mm. Only obstacle in the Gulf of Mexico, and he could find it big and strong. Big and strong. I'd like to see him. Man, Bring yeah. him on up here. That's a beautiful fish, my man. That's a, not so not so fast, Jason. Got him, cuz? I got him. <laughs> First cast. First cast. Boom shackle like it. Look at that thing. That's 30 pounds. Easily. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Dog. Come on. Big old double barrel popper. You're a piece of work. You are, buddy. Look at that. First cast. I tell you what, and that big double barrel pop popper is just the deal. It is. And you got a big old hook on that thing. Got him? Yep. Okay. You ready to catch another one? Let's catch another one. All right. Turn that one loose. I'll tell you what, brother, it don't get any better than that. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is presented by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. I've been doing this a long time and everybody starts on page one. There's always a first, but the thing that I enjoy about this place is that these aren't your average redfish no. these, these things are jurassic 20 to 40 pounders 20 and the anticipation factor so you chunk out the big double barrel popper and then if you don't have that image in your mind every time i chug that fly i'm anticipating the face coming up get in there get in there oh i, I had one right here sorry dude He's under it. He just pulled off of it. It's huge. You, a redfish with a mouth like that. And you see how thick his back is. And he yeah. Just, he humps up and here he comes. And then he sucks it. He sucks it in and it's gone. Gone, gone. Gone. And then you strip set him and then you better be on your game. Eat it. Oh. There you got it. <laughs> 
I got you. You're clear. <laughs> yeah, you got a hundred foot of fly line and he goes through that in about two seconds. And then he's into the back. And there were a couple of times today that I thought we we're gonna have to chase after him. I've got 300, Ooh. almost 400 yards of backing. <laughs> what do you think about that, brother? Let me tell you something. If that's not in the top three of the most fun in the backing already, head shaking. You need some help up there, brother man? I'm just enjoying the day, brother. Okay, I'm just checking on you. Just enjoying the day. Oh man, what a head on that thing. This is the ambiance of the trip. Today's segment is pretty simple. I'm casting a 11 weight, a nine foot 11 weight fly rod using a, just an unbelievable Nautilus fly reel. And that's a really big part of the deal because the drag has got to be so, so liquid smooth and Nautilus builds a great reel. And then a very short leader, four to five feet of 50 pound monofilament because we're throwing a floating popping bug. And this is a double barrel popper. It's got a vent in it, so it makes a lot of bubbles and a lot of splash. And that's tied on a big six odd hook that Jason ties. And uh, that's all it is right there. Dude, this is such a blast. I'm glad you're having fun. Oh, I always do come into your place, man. Remember I can catch them on the long rod, that's a hoot. I mean, it's fun catching them on spinning equipment too, but when you get conditions like this, this is just, here you go, brother man. Can't even see that, can't even see that top water, top water fly. This one's all spotted up. Some beautiful fish here. Oh, look at that thing. What a tank, dude. This show might be over in the first five minutes. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. How that copper red transcends that white. Got that big, big pack fin. And look how gorgeous that is. And this looks a cool little false eye on the back. Yep. A little C for chasing catchings. C for catchings. Pretty awesome, dude. You having fun yet? Dude, is it even nine o'clock? Seriously, I don't think so. Probably not. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. All right, put it back in the pool. She was ready. Sweet, man. <laughs> awesome, brother. All right, get another one, brother. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is brought to you by Power Pole, Shallow Water Anchor, Bob's Machine Shop, Go Fast, Go Shallow, Go Efficient, and by DOA, The Unfair Advantage. Jumping out of the water out there? I know. Been to anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna get us right up here on these birds up here that are diving. Yeah, like this is the worst case scenario. No, well, yeah, I know that. 180 degrees. Oh, look, at birds yeah. busting everywhere. Yeah. Get up in here where we first started and. <laughs> Once the storm passes, it'll get good again. It'll get slick again. We ain't no rush. Uh uh. I mean, it, it's only, it's only 8 o'clock. <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> Oh. Get ready. The game of patience. He's under it. Got it. <laughs> and just like that, folks. Boom cycle like. Look at the size of this beast. Just a pure excitement that you still have for that. I mean, I'm back there as a spectator, just kind of waiting to net your fish and watch you catch one after another and be excited. This is ridiculous. This thing, it's a boat. It is, that's a big one there, buddy. That is a toad, dude. Look at that. It, it's priceless. I don't know if that's my biggest, but it's right in the top five. Wasn't coming out. Sweet. Six-odd hook. 
six out. You gotta have that. Yeah. You gotta have that for an animal like that. Jason, that may not be the very biggest one I've ever caught with you, but it's in the top three or four or five. I mean, that's, that's a beast. On um, fly, are you kidding me? They don't get any better than that. Just epic eat right at the boat. It was, it's just Top water eat. They don't get any better. I actually, just best, awesome. Best fly fishing for redfish in the world, in my opinion. And I'll tell you what, I appreciate you having me down here. And you know, be, you're welcome anytime. Well, you, you've been a big part of the journey for a long time, and I hope it continues for a bunch of years. And I'm gonna come back, catch some more of these guys. Let's go ahead and get her back in the pool. That was every bit of awesome. That's why you drive 14 hours or 20 hours or 30 hours just to get here. Or better yet, get, get in an airplane and come down and, and Jason will take care of you. That was awesome, buddy.